Hey there everyone, this is Clive, after my long birthday. Overall, it was interesting. Yes, I know, I don't seem like it. By the way, I apologize, I'm actually not recording this on my birthday, exactly. It's, as far as I'm concerned, still part of the day. But it's past midnight, so technically it's not. And I said I would, and oh, that didn't happen. But anyways, it was an interesting day. It, it Honestly, it wasn't too far from my standard day. I got to choose dinner, which is slightly different than normal. Uh, I got some pretty cool gifts. And... Uh, what was that other thing? I don't remember what the other thing was, but anyways, I got some pretty cool gifts. I got a movie. A movie I've been wanting for a long, long time. <laughs> uh, ever since I saw that it, the commercials for it, I've been wanting that thing. I got that. Yes. Yes, I got that. <laughs> I got this wonderful, wonderful shirt. Let me spread it out. Oh, I can't tell if... Okay. How to pick up chicks. <laughs> Funny gag shirt. And then I got this wonderful, wonderful book that's supposed to be the fifth book of freaking... Give me the right books, okay? If you're gonna give me a book, give me the right one. <sighs> give me that, idiot. A wonderful, wonderful fifth book and conclusion, or at least that's what we assume so far. I haven't actually read it yet, so. But. It's possible it's a conclusion to the series, because the Percy Jackson series only had five. Heroes of Olympus, well, it's same author, continuation of the previous series, kind of. Excuse me. And, well, yeah, so, apparently there's a final gift that I am supposed to find that somewhere in my room and with how, with how tired I am it's not likely that I'll find it but yeah, I'll find it eventually I'll let you guys know what it is when I find it but anyways why is that drawer open but anyways ow the day was eh, kind of standard. Haven't been online at all. I got some text messages from some of my friends, and I got some calls from family. I got cards earlier in the week, and some money with that, and I was really happy about that. Got to talk to family I don't really get to talk to much, or I don't really talk to much, depending. Shirt, you're not allowed to listen to music. But... I'm not really sure how everyone else's day is. and I'm going on to my computer now. Uh, you'll be able to see what I'm seeing here shortly, because I figure, why not? Uh... Not gonna update yet. And you're not gonna let me until I say yes or no. I'm going to say no. Uh, I want you to see the things that I'm going to see because it's possible that I might have some surprises on Facebook and whatnot. Not likely. I mean, yeah, I'm a good guy. I'm this, that, and the other, but. Whatever. Come on, open the recorder. Thank you. 
Close that. Oh, the audio thing is on. Record the system audio, but do not. I repeat, do not do that. So. Hey, two, one, recording! Because I have it set to do that. Oh, let me open my Skype. Yeah, I know. So exciting. Open Mozilla. Yeah, yeah, I know. It always changes the color scheme to basic. Go to there. That's slowly loading up the stuff. Why is my com my desktop being so slow? Maybe there's updates that I need to do. Oh wait, that's right. It's a storm outside. Of course. Dragon. Mm hmm. Ah, cool. My thing is for my birthday stuff. I really don't care if people get me gifts, if it's just a th uh, happy birthday or thank you or whatever. The only thing that I really ever want to do for any of my birthdays is hang out with friends, have a good time. Because most of my life I ended up just hanging out with the family, never really going outside because, well, for one thing, there's not really much to do outside, and two, it's hot and buggy and other stuff like that most of the year. <sighs> and really, it just gets... Eh. But hang out with friends, I have great times, and... Recording stuff with them is amazing, and it's hard to describe, but if there's people out there who've been in situations like that, you, you can understand where I'm coming from, or at least I, I would hope you would, because otherwise there's something seriously wrong with me. Not with you guys, because you guys are you guys, it's just I've clearly overthought things. Oh, I got to play Yu-Gi-Oh! for the first time in, like, years. Against my cousin, he kicked my butt, and then teamed up with my cousin against my uncle, really bad idea, and James. Yeah, about that. James, who hasn't played in, in like 10 years, and Tristan, who's ridiculously good, and uh, they actually switched decks to try and equal the ground, which didn't make any sense to me, but because, let's face it, my uncle is amazing at dealing with what he has. So, why are you still trying to connect? What are you doing? What are you doing? Is the internet that bad that it's taking for... <sighs> really? Really? You're gonna do that to me? Come on. 
This, boys and girls, is why you don't use this internet that I'm using, that I've said multiple times, and various other times. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, why don't you go back in my history of tweets? YouTube videos, because I'm pretty sure if I keep mentioning the name of the company that I use, they're going to flag me down and all sorts of legal stuff that I can't pay for. Because I'm poor. And I have a desktop computer, I've got a laptop, I've got Lots of books. Someone's taking a shower behind me. <laughs> I've got games over there. Ninety percent of the stuff, gifts. things that just popped up. <laughs> I 
Okay. Yes. See. Uh, that's. I got that. Well, one from him as well. And then I also got that. This is what I mean when I say that really the only thing I would want as, well, for my birthday is to be able to just hang out with my friends. My friends make everything so much better. Yes, I'm back on the topic of my birthday. and I'm flip-flopping everywhere. My thing is, quite simply, growing up, most of my time was spent indoors, not being able to do anything. I couldn't go outside, really. And when I could, I didn't want to. And when I really didn't want to, I was forced to. And you know how that is. And when I was with friends, I have the happiest time of my life. And honestly, the best birthday I ever had was all the way back in, I think it was either 4th or 5th grade. I know it wasn't 6th because that's when some of my friends were going... But 4th or 5th grade, my dad spent quite a bit of money and got one day passes for Bush Gardens for myself some friends of mine, I'm not sure exactly how many, I think it was like only one or two, but it was still awesome. You know, we went to Bush Gardens, had a great time. Uh, but that that was honestly the best birthday I had. Birthday. I mean, the only birthday that comes close was not too long ago when I was in my freshman year, that actually is quite a bit of time ago, but anyways, freshman year high school, it was a massive storm. I, my birthday was looking more and more dreary. We had a nor'easter smacking the house like no tomorrow, and the streets were flooded, everything was going AWOL. I thought my birthday was going to be ruined because of a stupid storm, and so, a couple friends of mine that, yes, I'll admit I had crushes on them. I still do, kind of. The three, well, three of the female friends of mine from back when I was in middle school, their mother actually braved the Nor'easter, the flooded streets, and everything, just to get the three of them out here. And... That, that just lit up my day, and weird. Normally, I don't cry about these things, but whatever. Everyone shows emotion, one way or another. But and I got this sweater, and I mean, it, it's my favorite sweater. It's the only sweater I'm actually willing to wear because, well, otherwise, it's entirely too hot for me. And during winter, if it actually gets cold enough, it's the only sweater I will turn to, to get warm. And, I mean, I've kept it. Yes, it's got a hole in the sleeve, but it came like that, and what they were willing to take it back and get it fixed or whatnot. I was just like, no, I'm keeping it. But it, it was just... Stuff like that is really the best kind of birthday I could have. I don't need presents, I don't need money, although it would be nice to help me with being able to hang out with friends. Because I live at least 30 to 45 minutes from anyone, really, to hang out with and have a good time. 
but it's just how things go. Life isn't going to be amazing all the time. I just happen to have the luck of the draw where life is sucking me dry of energy and everything else and it sucks. I mean, the constant feeling of slight depression, I call it, others might disagree with me, and a variety of other things, just, it, it's not good. Probably the main reason why it is that I want to get back to a populated city, especially where my friends are. And that's motivation enough for me to keep trying to get a job, to be able to move back, keep doing what I'm doing for you guys. That's actually part of the reason why I started this, is because, well, I don't want people to feel that in the same way that I have felt. And because it's not fun. I know it. It's... Why are these things so hard for me to explain? I can explain hundreds of other things, but this! <sighs> but anyways, I want to thank you for joining me for my second part for the uh, birthday vlog. I'm sorry I couldn't show you anything else. I I'm sure I've got hundreds of messages just sitting there waiting for me on Facebook and in my email and... I mean, I have several, let's see, like, nine, ten messages over Skype for my, uh, for a happy birthday, and that alone was enough to brighten my day somewhat, and even though it's past midnight and everything, it, that's all that really counts, the thought really. Anyways, I hope you guys will continue to watch my other videos. I I know it's not really that amazing of a video for the vlogs that are emotional and things, but I want to thank you guys, and I shall see you guys in the next video. 23 years old. Seems like nothing has changed. Bye.